subscribe to the clickyourshop.com YouTube channel and like Click Your Shop on Facebook for the latest updates and promotions. Hello everybody, this is ZY and today we'll be taking a look at the YNE3RT along with the YN600EXRT. So here we have the YNE3 controller and also the YN600EXRT flash. Beside me, I also have a camera set up so you can get a close-up view of what I'm doing. So the YNE3 is practically Yongno's version of the Canon STE3 and YN600EXRT being their version of the Canon 600EXRT Speedlight. In fact, they are actually intercompatible with the Canons. So the user interface of the YNE3 is actually similar to the interface of the 600EXRT when it is in master transmitter mode. If you have multiple units of the 600EX, you can also use a 600EXRT to function as the master transmitter. But for this video, we'll be using the YNE3 as the master transmitter unit that I will mount onto my camera. So first of all, we need to make sure that the master and the slaves are connected. First thing to make sure is that they are all on the same channel. I have all my units on channel 1 right now. After that, the RT protocol uses a 4-digit ID code system. So basically, you need to make sure the IDs on all your units match. First of all, pick an ID code that you will enter into your master transmitter unit. So for demonstration purposes right now, let's just use 1, 2, 3, 4. So on your YNE3 RT, cycle through the menus until you see ID. Select ID and then we will key in our ID, which is 1, 2, 3, and then four. And then that's done. Once we've done that, we need to do the same for our receiver right now, which is the YN600EXRT. So on my slave flash, the 600EXRT, I have to first make sure that it is in wireless slave mode. So I will toggle it to wireless slave mode. There it is. It is now in wireless slave mode. And then go ahead and key in the same ID code. One. Oops. Two, three, four. Okay, now that's done. If the ID codes match, the link indicator should turn green. As you can see, it just turned green there. Link indicator should be green on both the master and the receivers, the master and the slave. So once they are green, that means that they are connected. So now I can control the slave units, my master transmitter. So I can set the mode to either ETTL manual mode or also multi-flash mode. Now full TTL functionality is supported via the wireless RT system. So that means I still have TTL metering, rear curtain sync, high speed sync, auto zoom and so on, although everything is wireless. So the system also supports grouping up to five groups. You basically assign your slave units into a group. You can toggle between groups by pressing the group button. It goes from group A all the way to group E. So we'll leave this in group A for now. And then you can set different output ratios for the groups from the YNE3. You can set exposure compensation for each group. And then if they are in manual mode, then you can set an independent and different output value for each group from your transmitter. Now the YNE3 only works with 600 EXs that have the built-in receiver. But what if you want to add a flash that does not have the built-in receiver of the 600 EXs? Now Yongnu has made it possible using the YNE3RX receiver unit. It's basically a receiver unit for the RTs that support TTL control. So the procedure is the same. Make sure they are on the same channel and make sure that the IDs match. So we'll key in the same ID that we have just now. It's already in channel one and then we'll key in the ID one, two, three, four. And then you can see the link indicator has turned green. That means it is connected to the system. And then all you have to do is mount a TTL flash to the receiver unit. So right now I'm mounting a Yongnu 568EX2, which is a full feature TTL flash made by Yongnu onto the YNE3RX receiver. So now when I fire a flash from my camera that has the transmitter, the YNE3RT attached, the YN568EX2 that is attached to the RX will fire along with the 600s. So this system is great for those who do a lot of wireless off-camera flash photography, allows you to have full control of your slave flashes wirelessly while maintaining full TTL control. 
So that is pretty much it about this system. If you're interested in purchasing any of these items, be sure to buy it directly from clickyourshop.com. To check it out, please follow the links that are in the description below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos and also like the Click Your Shop Facebook page for the latest updates and promotions. So that is it everybody, thank you very much for watching.